गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्लोरल डायग्राम फ्लोरल डायग्राम आर नथिंग बट दी आर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द फ्लोरल फार्मूला आर टिपिकली द फ्लोरल डायग्राम इज कंपोज ऑफ द आउटर मोस्ट वॉल of the flower is the calyx calyx is uh, represented by the outermost fold then inner to the calyx then there is a ring of the second non essential floral wall that is the corolla which is uh, represented by the petals while the calyx is represented by the sepals the next essential floral walls is the androecium which is represented by the stamens and the innermost floral essential floral wall is the of course ovary or the carpel which is the unit of the gynoecium all these floral walls whether it is the non essential floral wall and the essential floral walls has a unique shape and these shape are arranged in a specific manner which is called as the estivation the same manner in which the this floral organ arrange in the flower there are the two side for the floral diagram if we divide this floral diagram into four equal halves then the side towards the mother axis is called as posterior side so towards the mother axis this floral diagram has the posterior side while the outer side is the anterior side towards the posterior rear side there is a position of the mother axis while the remaining position are generally the diagonal plane are diagonal plane while the x axis or this axis is typically re refer as the lateral or the transverse plane so generally for the symmetry if the entire floral diagram divided into two equal half only in a single plane then it is a term as zygomorphic flower or it is divided into equal half at any length whether it is on a x y axis x axis or the diagonal plane then it is called as the actinomorphic symmetry these are the calyx corolla androecium and the gynoecium 
and the gynoecium is represented by the transverse section of the ovary showing the placentation that is the arrangement of ovules within the ovary so this this is the basic part of the floral diagram of the flowering plant